Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cameron House Marina. My name's Ruben Mercer, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland, and today I have for you something extremely exciting. A Quicksilver 905 Stealth Special Edition. This is the very first one of her kind. She has a black hull wrap, black canopies, black domes, black fenders, black branded fender socks. Everything that you need to make this the most exciting, sleek and aggressive Quicksilver 905 that you'll find anywhere in the UK. So she's the first one of our edition that we've released. And as, let's be honest, most of us won't be going on holiday this year or next or for the foreseeable future due to the obvious, I don't need to say it. Why not holiday at home? This has everything you'd need for you and all the family. It sleeps six in extreme comfort. You have diesel heating on board. You have a microwave oven. You've got two televisions. You've got sliding panoramic sunroofs. Everything that you would need to holiday, be it a day, a weekend, a week away, it certainly has it, and it's something that all the family can get involved in. She just looks like she's pouncing forward. The sleek hull wrap really brings out the definitive and aggressive lines on the boat. I myself had one of these, myself and my family did, and this is what got us into boating. I wouldn't be here behind the camera were it not for this boat, so I can single-handedly vouch for these. They're absolutely outstanding due to their full enclosure. They perform really, really well. This one also has the brand new 270 horsepower turbo diesel engine, which has got increased reliability and increased performance upon the previous 260 horsepower inboard. She's available for immediate delivery. Comes with all the spec you'd need Let's take a little look on board. So as we just enter the cockpit via this companion way, the very first thing we notice off to the starboard side is a transom hot and cold shower. It's great if you are swimming off the back here and you just want to clean down before you do go inside your very luxurious, very nice and tidy boat. Space out here is great. Everything is covered in that flexi teak and this deck is self-draining, so you can wash this down with the transom shower if any dirt's on it, and it does all just go out over the side. Luxurious marine leather cushions, and then this huge dining table gives you seating for six people round it. Everything, of course, under the protection of this very watertight canopy. So there are a number of different settings available for this to manage the space. You can see that, I've just lifted it up, you can lock this down or you can slide it forward to maximize the use of swim platform space and you want to roll the canopies up. You can also then flip that down to turn it into a bed or subsequently what you can do is you can even drop this down as well and that gives you a huge sunbathing area. And you really get maximal use out of the space once you've removed the table. So you get a lot of floor space. You can put directors chairs down here if you want. Access to the engines is under both of these hatches here as well. Now everything, as I mentioned before, is under the very, very solid protection of this watertight canopy. So what we'll do next is I'm going to roll up the canopies. We'll drop down the aft bench and we will also drop in the table with its filler cushion to turn this into a huge, huge sun pad. Um, and that'll really give you a good idea of just how open you really can make this boat. And then if you look at that, that is just absolutely 100% uninterrupted space between you and the water or whatever bay it is you're birthed into. Plenty of space for all the family up here. As I said, the transom shower there means that you can jump into the water, enjoy your surroundings when you do come back up onto the swim platform. Feel free to pull it out, wash yourself down. And this is a really comfortable area to spend extended periods of time on. Next, what we'll do is we'll bring it up and we will show you how we can maximize the swim platform space. And just like that, again, if you want to have director's chairs, you could certainly put them on the back here and look out over the bay behind you. Flexi Teak really looks classy. That's amplified on this boat here but just look at the amount of space you have back here to do whatever activities you want. You could put canoes on here. I think 
You could maybe even just get a jet ski and no more on the back should you want to. Right. So let's get let's get this back and we'll show you inside. And then finally into the original setting. Now, when I had one of these boats, what I found was so amazing about it was these glass sliding patio doors. Now that means that everything in here is fully enclosed to the elements in all four seasons. However, in the summer, it's such a seamless transition into turning this into quite the open boat. So what you would do is you take all these canopies off, dismantle them. You have the port side window, which is absolutely huge. You can see you'd open that up, open up your panoramic sunroof, and then you'd leave the sliding patio door open. Well, underway, that lets so much air flow in and out via the back door. So you do really get that sense of being outside while you are inside. In the winter, you're definitely gonna have everything closed over. You've got your diesel heating here. So it's gonna be nice and cozy. It can be minus one, minus two degrees outside. You're still gonna be nice and warm and comfortable in here. If you do as well, which let's be honest, most of us do like to have a brew, you certainly can do. We've got a fully equipped here, galley here, twin gas burners, a hot and cold sink. There's also a fridge freezer. And then you've got a microwave oven as well. So everything you need to be self-sufficient, be it for a day, a weekend, a week or more. You get huge windows with great panoramic views of the scenery outside. And then everything does have privacy curtains to enclose it at night time, should you want to get nice and cozy. There is also mood lighting fitted to the boat, which during the day doesn't necessarily make the biggest of impact, but at night it really does set the ambience well. Now all the cabin lights can be independently controlled from single rocker switches. However, there is a master switch for all of them. There's a fusion stereo system which is the marine equivalent of Sonos. There's two speakers in the aft cockpit, two inside the saloon, and then two downstairs in the master cabin. Can all be controlled from in this cabinet here. The high quality finish is apparent all the way throughout. The grain of the wood is singular. And you just feel that there's so much natural light pouring into here. It just looks very, very impressive. Now, as for outside in the cockpit, the mood lighting package, now that may not necessarily look like a lot during the day, but if only I could turn off the sun. Oh, I think you need to do it twice. And as mentioned, with the mood lighting on, it is very ambient out here. Now in the evenings, if you do want to relax and have a drink or have a bite to eat, simply just look and taking the views, there is no better place to do it than here. Two lights that make all the difference. Now we'll turn the sun back on. Natural light restored. We can take a little look inside again at the saloon and look at the different configurations that we have for the table and bench seats. So the table in a very functional manner, it folds up and down. And also you can drop it down so you can convert this into a berth, you can convert it into a chaise lounge, or you can just move this completely, slide the, the forward seat back, and then you can change the backrest on it so the navigator now has a seat out over the helm when you are underway. But what I'll do is I'll show you a few of the different configurations that we have here. And they're in the chaise lounge position. Now, this U-shaped seating is perfect for those chilled out, relaxing evenings when you just want to sit and watch a bit of TV after a long day out in the water. Next, we have the full berth conversion. And then finally in the forward bench seating position. So that gives you space for an extra two people to look out over the bow when you are underway. If you do need a navigator, which you probably won't because the Simrad is very, very well equipped and the navigational functions on this boat are amazing. But if you do want to have one, there is the option of it. It does lock into place with this very strong and sturdy bolt down here. And then the navigator does have plenty of legroom. And then it's so simple, so straightforward and effortless to simply push this back, change out the backrest, and there you go. You can instantly reinstate it back to its original lounge setting. 
Voila. So as we look across to the helm position, the captain seat is covered in marine vinyl. Very comfortable it is as well. You do also have this flip up, flip down bolster. The seat swivels and rotates. Underneath, we do have a stand. So when you are coming into dock or to berth, you can stand up and it does give you a much better all round field of view. So let's pop that away. Now the helm position then, the helm station, we do have electric trim tabs, throttle, of course you need the throttle. Uh, we do have a spotlight, an electric windlass, bow thruster, and then all your buttons off to the starboard side. Now this Simrad, this is an Evolution 3 Simrad model. Very, very functional, huge, huge, huge capabilities on it as well. So for example, we have the chart plotter. If we browse through a few of the other settings, there's also a transducer at the bottom. This fish finder is extremely accurate and it can pinpoint depths of up to 150 meters. We also then have a radar. So this is also pre-rigged with a smart craft vessel view. So you can work out using your Simrad here how much fuel you're burning, at what rate, how much range you have in the tank. Also, all your instruments can pop up so you can see underway your speed, your RPM, etc, etc. Wouldn't be complete without a VHF. Sliding door gives you access onto the starboard side gunnel. Finished in flexi teak. High grab rails as well. This gives you accessibility to walk out onto the bow. The electric windlass is stored underneath there. We do have foot controls. And you can see those two stunningly wrapped high gloss black domes. One for your Intellion for the satellite TV package and another for the navigation package, primarily the radar. There's that huge sliding panoramic sunroof on the top. Chunky grab rails. Stealth. Let's have a little look again downstairs at the two cabins. So as we stand looking down the stairwell, off to the port side, we have the mid cabin VIP. To the forward, we have the forward master cabin, and then off to the starboard side, we do have the heads. The heads is finished very, very nicely. We do have plenty of mirrors and plenty of storage. There's storage underneath the sink, and then also behind that lower mirror panel there, you can just see on the right hand side, a little hole to get your thumb in so you can pull it along. Now the toilet does have a waste tank and a macerator. It is an electric quiet flush as well. And if you look at the sink, it's a hot and cold sink. The shower pulls out, clips on up here, and then you can enclose this with a curtain that buttons around the door, as you can see. And that turns this into a wet head. Now entering into the forward master cabin, The door is lockable and the quality of finish is absolutely superb. Look how on all the doors and all the joinery, the green continues from one panel to the next. One of your diesel heating vents is in here, huge locker storage, plenty of natural light coming in through the hull side windows and then also via the escape hatch. The headboard is finished in Bentley styled quilted leather. And then the headlining again is in that very plush marine vinyl. Satellite TV in here. that's completely independent from the other TV in the saloon. So you can watch something on a different channel down here um, as to what is going on upstairs. There is also a side loading DVD player 
This also has the capability to take a USB stick, so an Amazon Fire Stick or Netflix, something can be plugged into the side as well. Now the bed is extendable. There is a little filler cushion that goes in just at the seam and it extends it by about seven or eight inches. And you can just see the filler cushion there, just left it slightly up and dated so you can see it. Now, it does make quite the difference if you are quite tall. It doesn't compromise too much on the space. You can still walk around about half of the bed on either way. There's plenty of storage to both port and starboard. And there's a huge storage locker underneath the bed as well, which I'll show you. I'm just currently using it to store some of the cushions. Directly underneath the bed too, we have two lockers. And then there's a 12 volt plug. And also a 240 volt main socket as well. The sliding doors were a great idea by Quicksilver. Keeps the stairwell clutter free means that there is just one less thing to bump into if you are traversing up and down the stairs from the saloons into the, the cabins. And with this huge skylight, letting plenty of natural light just flood down into here, it really does feel seamless as you transition from the saloon into the cabins. So the mid-cabin VIP, storage again. Another big, huge skylight. There is, of course, privacy curtains for absolutely everything here. And as we look down and under, you can see that there's space for two adults and two children. Or this can be pulled out to convert this into two singles. Just at the rear there, there is your heating unit. And there are some controls for shore power and then um, some things in regards to the sewage system and the black water tanks. Storage behind both of these. One of the vents for the diesel heating and then a 240 volt plug just up against the bulkhead there. All there really is to do, folks, is show you the engines now. She's powered by a 270 horsepower Mercury Mercruiser turbo diesel. Now, this is a relatively brand new engine. Quicksilver have just started rolling them out, but compared to the previous models, they offer superb reliability, increased performance, and there is also plenty of space down in the engine room and it's incredibly clean as you would expect for a brand new boat. Great. Well ladies and gentlemen we give to you Stealth, the very very first of its kind. Great for those of you who won't can you holiday away this is something that you can come down to on the weekends when you finish work after school. It's something that all the family can get involved in. I'm Ruben from Marine Sales Scotland, where fun in the water begins.